In this video, I will show you how to transform this long antenna into this short antenna without losing range. The only effective part of the antenna is this last one, which should be approximately 31 mm, while this part is only shielding. So if we cut this part and we place it here directly at the receiver, the result should be identical to the long antenna. I measured the antenna length on three receivers and they are not very precise and they are shorter than expected. So I will make it a little longer like 31 mm and see what is the result. You first need to open the receiver. And this sticker here is uh, keeping the receiver in place, but if you just pull, you see this part is sticky. Okay, now we need to remove the antenna with the soldering iron. So this is the ground and this little spot here is where you have to connect the antenna. Now I cut the antenna a little longer because I have to solder it. I remove the shielding, the last part of the shielding. I thin the last part of the cable. Okay, and this is the result. Please keep some insulation from the, the wire of the antenna to this point here, which is ground. And I also apply some glue in order to make the antenna more robust if you pull it or move it. Total length is 31.1 millimeters. As new cable antenna, you could use the bind plug. I have many of them and you cut it longer and then you trim it to the desired length. Once the glue is dry, you can close the receiver. I made a simple range test. Um, I took uh, two receivers, one with the short antenna, one with the long antenna, and uh, my child was moving the remote control and uh, the two servo was continuously moving. Then I started to walk away from the remote and uh, the two receivers started to lose the signal about at the same time. Uh, one time this one, one time this one, they will start glitching randomly and then recovering the signal. So the range is identical. And here you can see it fitting on a MST RMX 2.0 car instead of uh, the usual wrapped antenna.